the political landscape always factors into our risk analysis. And, you know, the more unpredictable the political landscape, the more volatile the political landscape, the higher the interest rate that bondholders demand. In Belize's case, the interest rate on the super bond is already way below the interest rate that would be commensurate with Belize's risk factors, okay? So um, we, we do take into account, um, you know, politics and political risk. But when bondholders lend to a country, and in this case, the last time we restructured Belize's debt, we termed out the, the repayment schedule such that we knew that in the, you know, we, we, we lengthened it out so that, so that Belize's repayment schedule could be, could be manageable, we thought. And we knew at that time that there would be several changes of government in Belize over the, over the lifetime of the bond. That happens all the time in, every, in, in all countries, but it's an obligation of the country. So successive governments generally treat it as, a, as an obligation of the country that, that they have to take care of, even though it was, even though it might've been contracted by the previous government. In this case, the original super bond, as you know, was contracted by the PUP under Prime Minister Musa. That's, that's sort of the irony of this thing. It has come full circle. 